Hey guys, today on Man Cave Tools, we are going to do a grand video to celebrate a, such a good year. I appreciate every view, every subscriber that I got, every comment. I don't answer as many comments as I used to just because there's so many now, but I do read a lot of comments. All right, but before we get started with this, I just want to give a quick shout out to a young uh, YouTuber that has a tool channel. He wants to get into tools. I met this kid over at the Ohio Power Tools event that happened a few months ago. And uh, his YouTube channel is called Lucas Gialoretti. All right, so I talked to him. He was a cool little kid. I, it was nice to meet him and his father. And so yeah, j j just go check his channel out. Go subscribe. I'll put his channel in the link below. We are going to do a grand video with all the hammer drills that I have. Now, I will say this immediately. One thing I forgot about. Uh, this is not a hammer drill. This is the regular drill driver. The flex is broken. We are going to use this though to see if it'll work with a broken chuck. And I for completely forgot that this Milwaukee hammer drill is broken. All right, but let's just briefly uh, look over the specs really quick and get to the test. And just so you guys know, this is what today's test is. Yeah, let's see if these drills can do this. Speed one, it's on drill. Battery is full. The Craftsman does not have a handle. And yes, this goes, just to let you guys know, this goes about three and a half inches beyond the board, beyond the, the log. That's not bad. Not bad. All right, so that is where the Craftsman stops. We, we're gonna measure from the chuck to the, to the log, just to keep the numbers simple. There is 10 and 1 8 inches left. 10 and 1 8. All right, but the Craftsman was not able to do this task. There we go. Next is cobalt, uh, it's on speed one, it's on drill, battery is full. You can do it, you can do it, come on, don't give up. Uh, the cobalt gave up. The cobalt's remaining is the same thing actually that's weird 10 and 1 8 inches 10 and 1 8 wow the exact same measurement that's crazy right, next is makita it's, it's on drill speed one four amp hour battery with 18650 cells battery is full You can do it. All right, that's where, it, if this stops at 10 and a, 1 8 inches, I'm gonna be really confused. The Makita stopped at 10 and a quarter inches. Next, let's do the DeWalt Flexfolt, this is a 4 amp hour battery with 21700 cells. Speed 1, it's on drill. Battery is full. Push it. Are you serious? So the DeWalt got this. Wow. Wow, so the, the, this DeWalt drove it in the least amount. It is at 10 and 3 eighths inches. 10 and 3 eighths. Well, there's gotta be one tool that can do this. All right, so next let's do the Ryobi. 
Uh, three amp hour battery, 21700 cells. Battery is full, speed one, it's on drill. This is a nice little, this is a nice hammer drill. If you're in the market for a hammer drill, at a low cost, this is actually a good hammer drill. All right, that's where the Ryobi cut out. All right, so the Ryobi is at 11 and a quarter inches. 11 and a quarter inches remaining. So Ryobi drove it in the least amount so far. All right, next let's do the flex. Let's see if the broken chuck could keep this big bit in it might be able to just to wedge it in. We will see because of the, the clamps inside of the truck barely have to move, so. Five amp hour battery with 18650 cells. Battery is full. It's on drill, speed one. Let's see what this can do. Oh, wait, turbo mode is on. Uh, that's where the flex cuts out. So it has 10 and 3 a quarter inches remaining. Sorry, 10 and 5 eighths inches remaining on the bit between the chuck and the, the lumber. All right, so next let's do the rigid. Three amp hour battery, uh, octane battery with 21700 cells. Battery is full. It is on drill and speed one. Ooh, ooh, that, that, that might actually be the winner so far. 10 and 1 8 inches. So, 10 and 1 8 inches remaining for between the chuck and the, the lock. All right, so Bosch is next. Four amp hour battery. I'm not sure what cells are in there. Battery is full. It's on drill speed, uh, it's on drill speed one. That motor's quiet. All right, so that's where that cuts out. So disappointing that none of them can do this. All right, the 11 and 3 eighths is left remaining between the drill and the, the log. All right, next is Hilti. Let's see what Hilti can do. Four amp hour battery with 21700 cells. Battery is full. It's on drill. It's on speed one. Right, that's where the Hilti cuts out. There is 11 and 1 eighth inches left. 11 and 1 eighth inches. All right, and the last one to test out is the Milwaukee. We got one more auger bit that I am gonna use because these batteries only did one task. It's on speed one, it's on drill. Three amp hour high output battery with 21700 cells. Battery is full.
Ooh. Hey, that's where the Milwaukee cuts out. What is left? 10 and 1 eighth inches. Wow. All right, so they all failed. So let's go to a, a smaller auger. The battery in that three bars still. Should be cleared. All right. This auger is seven and a half inches. So yeah, let's see what these can do about that. All the batteries were full when we tested these. They, it only did one task, so we could use these batteries. You can do it. Oh, it cut out. There's a few inches left, so it failed. It is able to get it out by itself. All right, so the Ryobi did fail that. You can do it. Oh, almost. Almost. Not quite there. Yep, it failed. Oh, oh, come on, do it, do it, do it, do, oh, almost, it almost did it. Almost did it. Oh, it might do it. Come on, do it, do, do oh, come on. None of them are finishing it. See, it's still... At least they aren't able to take it out by themselves. God it, God, it just can't finish it to the chuck. None of them can. Come on, you can do it. Don't stop. Just keep going. Ooh. Seriously. None of them are able to do, like these, ta it, it might be the wood, I'll give it that, it might be the wood, because there's a reason why I don't use this log, but it's like, at least one of these need to finish this task. Oh my God, it's got, it's got to be the wood. It's, it's got to be the wood. All right, let's do a test. Which I'm just curious that I'm mean, like, this better finish it. Six amp hour battery, this is not a part of the test, but I want to test this. Almost, almost, oh, it was a six amp hour battery, almost finished it. Nope. God, that is powerful, but it might, I think it's the wood. All right, so they all, every single tool failed both tests with this lock. Every single tool failed. Every single freaking tool failed.
Alrighty, so before we end part one, let's see if at least I can get one of these tools. We're gonna, do, we're gonna test out the Makita to see if we could drive that smaller auger into this. It's like, come on. Yep, that'll, that does not go through all the way. All right, let's see if this could actually do this friggin' task. This is the first time where I actually had every tool fail on me for the test. I figured at least one of them would be able to do this. Let's just do a test really quick and continue. Time. So stay tuned you guys, we'll do that in the next video. So that's pretty much it you guys, I'll see you on the next one.